Hi, thank you for the opportunity to present you with the malnutrition screening and the validation form. This is version 2.0. Um, essentially, a lot of, of the registered dietitian uh, professionals have been requesting that we update um, the previous application that we had to validate malnutrition screening according to um, Aspen. So what we have here is a new version, which is uh, easy and more um, user-friendly, and it will still allow you to do different things to create uh, a nutrition evaluation and determine the level of malnutrition or the type of malnutrition that uh, your residents or your patients at acute care settings or long-term care settings um, for a proper diagnosis, which is validated. As you know, malnutrition um, requires the um, elements of uh, the criteria according to Aspen. And um, we can read there that uh, at least two to, uh, the minimum of two of the six characteristics uh, for a diagnosis uh, of malnutrition um, is required. So the application is pretty straightforward. You can um, check the instructions and to review the criteria according to Aspen. And then um, pretty much it has um, six domains. The energy intake refers to the amount of calories that the person or the patient uh, has um, consumed over uh, an average period of time. Then you have the percent weight loss, then you have the body fat loss, muscle loss, presence of edema, and hand grip. So pretty straightforward. All you have to do is within the, each domain, select the energy intake for this patient. Has the patient been eating less than 75% in greater than seven days, or it's 50% in five days, was it less than 75% in a month, it's less than 75% in three months, less than 50% in one month. So let's, uh, and this again is according to Aspen, it's very detailed, uh, more granular than some other uh, malnutrition screenings uh, available. So let's just do for the purpose of demonstration, the demonstration in this application. Let's do 75, similar for weight loss. Let's select um, that this person has 10% in six months. And the amount of body fat, um, according to Aspen, let's say, is it mild, moderate? Let's select mild. Muscle loss, let's select also, um, let's select moderate. And for level of edema, let's say that is plus one. And hand grip, um, let's not measure, but you can just say it's measurably reduced or not applicable. I'm gonna leave it as NA for the purpose of the demonstration. But once you have selected all these, um, you can see already there's two um, pop-up alerts in here identified as non-severe uh, of chronic disease and non-severe protein color malnutrition of acute illness. So either of these diagnoses are appropriate and okay for this particular patient. But to calculate and see which ones are um, of these two categories meets the criteria the most. In other words, um, which one is more likely to be associated with the patient's condition by means of meeting that specific criteria. So let's do the calculation, let's do the disclaimer. And now you can see that this patient has been identified with actually three conditions. The first one is in, uh, acute illness, non-severe, non-severe protein color malnutrition of chronic disease, three points, and then you will have here uh, 
um, non-severe protein calorie malnutrition and environmental costs as well. And it will give you the total points. So this is really useful because you don't, you know, the, uh, some clinical RDs have this um, copy and, you know, it, get, it gets very confusing when you're trying to determine it. Uh, the 75%, 75%, what is the time of weight loss? This way you just select your criteria, let the application calculate the level of malnutrition, and once you're ready, you can even create an evaluation. So let's see how that works. So again, the application would automatically tell you which one of these has the most points. And you can see that you can choose uh, social environment, it only has two points meaning there's two criteria that, that protein monitor. So these three will be A-OK -okay, uh, as diagnosis because it's validated by, by, the, by the application. However, um, I will select the first one, the acute illness or injury for a total of three points. So you can either choose this one or the second one, which is of chronic disease. So I'm going to choose the first one, which is equivalent to the option here is zero and enter the clinician's name this is if you want to put your rd's name so clinical rd the patient's name is um, okay. Okay. and automatically you see you create an evaluation using the pes statement and automatically puts the uh, signs and symptoms, the goals, the interventions, and the information for that patient. So again, um, very easy to use, and it's available to uh, anyone who might find this application to be useful to validate malnutrition and avoid um, any penalties when it comes to the validation of the actual diagnosis of malnutrition. Thank you, and uh, if you have any questions, please visit our website, sosnutritionconsulting.com. Again, it's sosnutritionconsulting.com. Thank you.